Hi! Welcome to another Tech Tips channel. Today, I am going to share with you How to insert a chart in our report There are several ways to accomplish that. First, we may use Snapshot. Snapshot is worth like taking a screenshot of a view and then attach in the report template as an image. Due to snapshot is work like screenshot. So some of the information we may not want to include in our report. Such as the view name and on the button at the bottom. And today, I am sharing another method to insert charts into the report. By using the quick chart API. Before we go through the setting, let's check out how it works. To demonstrate the function, I am using one of my existing app. This app having a table view, which listing the staff info, and grouping by department. We are adding a menu to it, the report printing menu. In the report printing menu, we have a ratio staff by department report. By click the print button, the app will generate the report in PDF format. And email to the preset recipient. This is the email that we sent from AppSheet just now. Let's check out the attached report. So this is the generated report. With a header, a chart and a table list. Alright, let's back to AppSheet and check out the configuration. First of all, let's configure the data first. A table, name as report printing is added. There are four columns in this table. The record ID column, as the key with a unique ID. The report name column, as the description for the report. The chart column, as an image type, which storing the chart's image. The printing count column, as the printing counter. Data is ready now, let's proceed to the user interface. Let's create a reporting view. And set it as above. As you see, the data we use here is a slice. I will share with you how to set the slice, and why we need the slice later. Let's back to data, and check out the report printing slice. We create this slice, is due to I just want to enable the printing report action for the view. The other option, we just leave it as default. Next, let's check out the printing report action. We have created two actions, the printing report action and the refresh chart action. Let's check out the printing report action first. Configure the action as above. Completed, let's check out the refresh chart action. Set the action as above. Replace the highlighted with your own data. Do you notice that? The two actions actually is referring to the same table. And why don't we add the chart column in the printing report action? Yes, you are right, we can add them in the same action. But I suggest that since there are serving different job and different purpose, so split them into two actions will be easier to manage. Next, check out the bot configuration. 
set the bot as above. Let's check out the attachment template setting. This is the header area. The report title. The code that inserting the chart. And last, the table list. The app is ready, and don't forget to save the changes. Alright, the workshop is completed, we end here today. See you guys in the next video. Bye.